Yeah. If you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another episode. Today, I'm going to show you another good find I just found on the good old trusty internet. I don't know what it is, but I've been finding some pretty good deals on the forums and all this stuff. And uh, I don't know. I think I got a I think I got a knack for it. I don't know. But anyways, this is a head that I just picked up. Obviously, uh, let's take a look on the inside. I uh, actually got this valve cover from Rick. Shout out to my boy Rick out in Colorado. He just gave this to me. Thank you very much. Um, this head is literally exactly what I planned on building for you guys. I I couldn't believe it when I saw it. I was like, it's just what I was gonna do already done and cheaper than if I was to do it all myself. Um, when it comes to building a head, the springs are really what you need to make around 500 uh, with these motors. Uh, the retainers, from what I've been told by so many people and the forms, uh, they hold up. Some people say they send them up to you know 8,500, you know nine grand, which is crazy. Um, I don't plan on you know revving that high. Maybe we'll see. Uh, but anyways, uh, these stock retainers are supposed to help hold up. And some people, like I said, some people say that they're better uh, than the titanium ones. Uh, but they are Brian Crowers, as you can see. They got that yellow line going down them. Um, and also, the guy went ahead and ported the head. Not sure why it's only done on the intake side. Uh, the guy just ported. It's not polished. It's just, you know, ported on the intake side. Uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but he left the exhaust side undone. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why that is. If you do know, if there's some hidden secret about not polishing uh, the exhaust side, which usually that's the side that you'd want to polish and make it really nice uh, with these D-series, please let me know because I've never heard of that before. Uh, it also was already been from the machine shop. You can check down here. Head has been decked. Oh, they also, this is all ported down here as well. See? Super, super dope. But, Okay. Uh, now I'm going to go ahead and pull this cam out. Uh, I'm going to get the cam sent out to uh, our buddies over at uh, Delta. I'm going to go ahead and take that out for you guys and uh, we'll get it sent out. These uh, timing gears have a keyway, uh, so if you're taking off an adjustable, always remember to grab it. Unlike the stock ones, they have it built in. I'm glad I decided to take this cam out uh, because you can clearly see that this gasket here is is chewed up. And the cam actually itself don't look doesn't look the greatest, but we'll get it sent out. Our buddy uh, John uh, over at Delta Cams he took care of some other cams for us and he does a good job. Uh, I'll put his link down in the description. Uh, he's a good friend of ours, uh, so definitely hit him up. Guys, now that the cam is out, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add up uh, what I've spent so far on this process, uh, the parts I still have to order, and the ones uh, that I have just ordered, uh, plus what I've spent at the machine shop. Um, so let's go ahead and add that up real fast. 
Actually, I don't even have my phone on me. Let me go grab it. All right, so we have $80 uh, in the block, uh, plus all the machine work uh, that's gonna be done going 0.5 over. Uh, that's gonna be uh, $300, uh, plus those new uh, Viterra pistons uh, that I just picked up. Uh, those will be 95 bucks. That comes with uh, the rings uh, as well. Um, then uh, also, we're gonna go ahead and add in the ARP head studs uh, that I need to order. Uh, that'll be 110 bucks. Uh, plus, we also need those ACL race bearings. Uh, those are going to be another 120 bucks. Uh, oil pump. We're going to probably go with that uh, race oil pump too. Uh, that'll be 124 dollars for that. Um, also, we're going to go ahead and add in the head that I just paid uh, 240 bucks for, or 250 bucks for. Uh, then we're also going to need a head gasket as well. Uh, that's going to be about 65 dollars. Um, now, let's also go ahead and add in uh, for a uh, timing belt water pump, uh, that uh, as well, that'll be another 150 bucks there. Uh, say anything miscellaneous, there's always something. If you've done a swap before, you always know that there's going to be something else, you know, that's going to come up. So, let's go ahead and add in another $100. All right. So it looks like my built uh, D16 motor is going to run us right around $1,300 no, $1, there uh, so far. Uh, I'm going to be running a stock transmission, all that. We won't get into that so far. I just want to see how much it's going to cost uh, to get this motor uh, going and you know making some power. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and call it there. I've uh, been talking to some guys, met some, some people here locally in Lakeland, and uh, they got some K-swaps. So, Hopefully we'll be going over there, recording some of that cool content here shortly. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. Um, also, uh, go ahead and check down the link. I'm going to put Delta Cam and put their number, address. All you got to do is take your cam, send it to them. If you have like any specifics that you want, you just let them know and they can make it for you. And they usually give you a better deal, plus you're using you know factory Honda cams instead of some aftermarket stuff. Uh, so I highly recommend going through them. I've had a lot of success, and a lot of other people I know have had a lot of success uh, from them as well. Uh, so definitely go ahead and check them out. Uh, but thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. If you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you can also get lost in the sauce.